Good afternoon, designers, and welcome to what might be episode 192 of Game of Rugs. During the course of this episode, my mother will call, and also an Amazon delivery will arrive. So obviously this is the kind of day where I have a lot going on, and I don't want to do any of it, and so I'm hanging out with you instead. I have not seen this Elite. This looks super interesting. I just got here after like 24 hours of not logging in. Um, so the plan is to do today's daily, do some voting, and then look at some scores. Although this is quite exciting because I do have some Wisteria stuff like this vintage Chinese trunk that is perfect for this. And I also have some vintage Chinese, or I have some uh, vintage red and white stuff that could maybe be used. I might get super distracted here and end up doing this room instead, but probably not because it's going to take a long time. There you go. How about that? And I also have these. I'm basically just throwing these in here to remind myself that this is this was my plan all along. I have some chi I have some old art. Anyway, I don't know what I'm doing there, but that was exciting. I hadn't noticed that. Sorry. Welcome to my rabbit attention span brain. So let's do what I said we were going to do and start with today's daily. I looked at it before, and this was my thought process. My thought process was, oh, look, they definitely want us to use, like, the old, like, they totally want us to use the green limited edition stuff that was left over, or the burgundy limited edition stuff that was left over, both of which would be absolutely fine, but I still have all of this level 100 art that I haven't used yet, so I think we're going to go green. And then the question was, this was color. I have a very snorty dog here. Frank, nobody wants to listen to you trying to breathe. Um, I love this anthro sectional. It does not have coordinating chairs. So I was just looking for green chairs. I already had an inventory that might go with that. So I think those green chairs, but then I also have, these are apartment 2B chairs. The, the apartment 2B Embry chair. Holy fuck. Go away. Um, this Embry chair. These are the Embry chairs, the Apartment 2B Embry chairs, and I have this Apartment 2B sectional that is the same color and a similar design, but the scale is wrong. So I think that we're going to go back to a different green sofa and these green chairs that actually match perfectly. The color's great. Uh, the issue when you decide to do green in this room instead of maybe the burgundy that they had wanted you to do or whatever is uh, you've now fucked yourself on rugs. 100% I have fucked myself on rugs. Like what? I have so many green rugs, like 12 of them. Nope. 14 of them. Nothing works. I can use this rug, which is $4,000. So that's like not super really a thing I want to do. I don't know how I bought this rug because it's ugly and looks like vomit. Although it does look okay. Oh, fun. They've fucked up the texture on the floor and the rug is repeating. Or that rug is. Maybe that rug's just ugly? No, I don't. I don't okay, anyway. Um, one of these two rugs will do. We'll go with this super ugly one. Um, 
this ugly one? I don't know. We're going to go with one of these ugly rugs. They're all ugly, Sabrina. Nobody votes for this rug. Like, objectively, is it the worst rug in the world that's green? No. But also, nobody will vote for it. All right, look. We're going to put a rug down and get on with our lives, then we can go back and change the rug. So then the question is, what color should all of this furniture be? Should it be brown or should it be black? And I'm going to go with something square and dark wood. Like that. And I know I have a matching end table because I used it not that long ago. By matching, I don't mean matching. I don't mean that it's part of the set. I mean that it coordinates. So if I just put in up there. Like that is fine. See, it's fine. I am only aware of the existence of that because I went through the drama of trying to find something that matches this coffee table during the week. And I remember my own pain and suffering acutely as if it were yesterday, which I guess it might have been. Um, and then, of course, my pattern loving heart wants to put this in, even though it doesn't go. Are we going to do that? No, because bitches like scoring well. Coffee. That was coffee from the place next door. It's disappointing. Although the brownie that went with it was quite good, so I'm not really complaining. Am I am I having brownies for breakfast? It is the Sunday of a bank holiday weekend, and I am a fifty year old adult woman with no children. I can do exactly what the fuck I like, and what I liked this morning was brownies for breakfast. So that is indeed what I did. How about these? I'll cover up more of this awful rug. Seems like a plan. Oh, and then I know you'll be shocked to see me go to my go-to plants. Sometimes the rooms really do just design themselves. Um, green. Oh, look, it was right there. I think put me in a room. It's not great. Let's see if we can find a better one. How about this one? I mean, realistically, we only have two choices. So this West Elm one is the right color, but it's leather. So it's shiny and it looks weird. And this Joybird one is matte because it's fabric, but it's the wrong color. So... Let's spend 500 euros, dollars we don't need to spend, and go with the matte one instead. And then we're going to, we need a lamp, and it's going to have to be gold. So get rid of that. Nope, well, wrong item. This coffee has so much caffeine in it, my heart is now literally racing out of my chest. It's gallivanted off in another direction. It's going somewhere the rest of me isn't going. Um, I, of course, think it would be hilarious if I died of a heart attack in the middle of a Game of Rocks episode, but nobody else has to think that's funny. I have a very morbid sense of humor. Um, okay, so. How about that? Like, the things don't really go together? These trials are sent to test us. It's not great either. How about that? It's quite small. Like, it's not magical, but it's not terrible. And then what I want is the little gold horse. It's Whatever you put there is going to be small. We just need a glint of gold to make it obvious we've put something there. And you know what? This, this is not the most terrible room ever. Like it's not great, but it's gonna it's gonna score a four point five or a four point six. It's like solidly in there. I don't hate it. There is another lamp that I want though. 
that's not the lamp I want to look at the big fat one that's like two hundred dollars there is a big fat cutie patootie I love lamps I really do I love all of the Jonathan Adler lamps too and I love how they're like little lamps I love that like it's a little lamp and it's just massively scaled up so cute they are also cute I love the cactus lamp I love the boob lamp none of these are the lamp that I am looking for these are not the droids we're looking for this might have been the one I was looking for that does look nice we'll use that if I can't find this other lamp Do other people spend this much time obsessing over lamps and then also like not able to find the lamp you were looking for? I am looking for a big fat gold ball lamp. This one. Yeah, that's the one. Okay. Perfect. So now we're going to finish this room. That lamp goes so well with the flowers on the table. The golds have the same like tonal cast. It's perfect. Submit design. So we're going to do two rounds of voting. And I only do the voting because you guys like the voting. I, uh, Wow, okay, I remember this room. It was hard, so hard. This room on the bottom. Here's the thing, even though the um, chaise, the day bed, is in the back of the room, because it is purple, it is the focal point of this room, and so it's immediately obvious that it doesn't go with the rug and um, to and the the sofa and chair are the same color gray but the uh, ottoman and side table are and there are just too many colors here it's not a cohesive color story so it's not great whereas the room on top is uh, arguably ugly but it's also very well coordinated. So we're voting for that room. Oh. I love the room on the top and the pops of blue that this designer used. Like we, it's all very neutral and then the, the rug is a neutral rug with pops of blue. The sofa has the basket next to it with the blue pillow. The blue lamp is inspired, and the uh, the limited the new limited edition art on the left. It's really good. The room on the bottom also really good. But I love the blue on the top, and I'm voting for the room on the top. They are equally as good. It's just personal preference. Uh, clearly we're not voting for the room on the top, which may in fact be a dump room. We are going to vote for the room on the bottom. Good job matching that, um, I think it's a DWR chair with the sofa. Not, not maybe so much of a good job on the rest of the room, but we are where we are. The rug on the top was a colossal mistake. This room at the top would have done better with nearly any other rug. This rug is too traditional. It's too fussy. It's a very modern room. It's very discordant with the furniture that was chosen. The room on the bottom is boring as anything. But what it is not is the room on the top. So we're going to vote for this room on the bottom. Oh, the room on the top. It's giving the minimum. It's like the minimum, the bare minimum. And this room on the bottom. Okay. These vases 
are level 122, how the actual fuck do you get to level 122 in this game without figuring out that voters hate this rug, but also that voters like art? How does that happen? How do we get here? Uh, I, I'm rage voting for the room on the top because I'm so annoyed by the person on the bottom. I'm so sorry, Amaryllis, but girl, buy some art. Don't use that rug. I have had one room with a five, but it was a Southwestern themed room and I used that rug. It's the only time I've ever seen that rug score well. Cute. Everybody's trying hard here. Um, on the bottom, I don't think the floral poofs go with the striped rug. Everything else goes together beautifully. The room on the top is just that little bit extra better coordinated. So we are going to vote for the room on the top. I'm not sure the blue basket goes with the rest of the room decor. The room on the top would be perfect if they had used the pillows that were used by the room on the bottom. But the 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 tropical print poofs on the bottom is just not happening. So we're going to vote for the room on the top. Uh, can we just briefly talk about people who use their design home... Uh, photo to evangelize not a fan also every time I vote for your room and I see a thing about Jesus God or Trump I regret voting for you um, let's help the room on the bottom if it had gone all get out for the sort of Western Southwest theme with these tobacco ottomans and the rug and the wood coffee table, like could have made this work. Oh, and they used a tree lamp as well. Like you could have carried this off if you'd been consistent in the theme and really gone for it. They did not. The room on the top is kind of meh. Ugh. I'm very unmoved by both of these rooms. I'm voting them equal. The room on the bottom has mismatched art. I don't know why we have a blue bunny in this room. Use a lamp. You can be cheap. Just use a lamp. Um, and the room on the top obviously is very cohesive. I also really like the side pattern on this chair. And the other neutrals that are carried through the room that go with it. It's not great, but it is a really good room. You are welcome. It's the green rugs in this game, they're a fucker. Like, look at the room on the bottom. If there was a better green rug, that room would be, but it's not. So, what am I going to do? Like, the room on the top is, the person did manage to make that green anthro chair not it doesn't go with anything oh so frustrating i'm voting these equal because i don't know what to do and if i don't do that we're going to be here forever room on the bottom great rugs good furniture choices very cohesive i think it's a slightly weird um traditional it's almost a Mediterranean furniture set for this room, but whatever. Oh, thank God. Okay, back to design. Finish. It's not great, but what it is, is done. Okay, and now... It was fine, thank you. Thanks for asking. I'm going to whip through some scores here, starting at the bottom. Okay, starting on the one that I accidentally tapped. That got a five. Yay. I don't even know what room this is. A Paragon angled writing table. Okay, that seems uncomfortable to me, but sure. Oh, I actually had fun doing this room. I did an old lady room and I really liked it. And I borrowed that sofa from somebody because... There's nothing that goes with these chairs. They're, the chairs don't have a coordinating sofa. So I borrowed that sofa and I bought this rug and I had the 
side table, and I actually ended up really liking all of this stuff together. I do not, 100% do not want to live in with this room, and it does look like the formal room in a retirement community, but um, I'm really glad that it got a five. Cool. Yeah, weak sauce. I had these chairs, and the drapes were gray, and my heart was in it, but that's all that was in it, because in the end, it was just very weak. Frank, hold your shit together. Okay, San Diego forever. Or not. What was I doing, and how did this room get a 4.7? I think maybe I was just trying to dump those chairs. I don't know. Let's ignore this room. And, like, this is a very lucky 4.77. So at some point when there's a room in my future that should I think should have been a 5 and ends up with a 4.3, and this is why. Because that is the universe reckoning out the karma evenly. Ooh. Oh, good. I need a bar stool that looks like all the other bar stools. Fantastic. Oh, fun. I did get to use these chairs, and then I used an outdoor sofa, and I thought it was going to tank this room. But honestly, in voting, all of the rooms were so bad that I ended up not being. I'm not shocked. Like there were, there was, there was nowhere to go with the design requirements for this room that resulted in a room that was not ugly. So here I am with all my ugly friends. Look at, look at all my ugly friends. None of these rooms are not ugly. I mean, I guess that one's not ugly. <sighs> not, like, inspired either. The furniture is so weird. It's a weird choice of furniture. It's, a, like, a very, very modern room. And those chairs are very, very retro. The, the Nathan Anthony swivel chairs there. I don't know. So I got a room, I got a five on a room that I did not deserve a five for. On the other hand, all of the rooms were ugly and my five was as ugly as all the other five. So I'm actually okay with that. Revisiting history. Ooh. Pisser. Mm. I bought this rug to go in this room. I now have four of them in my inventory. It's going to take me a year to use them. If this game goes out of business in the next 12 months, don't worry, there's absolutely no danger of that. I'm going to be pissed that I struggled through the year with these rugs in my inventory and no way to use them. But can we just, just note that it was not an ugly room? Did anybody do anything with any burgundy? I could not figure out how to do anything with any burgundy. Oh, someone did do something with burgundy, and it's very, very, very unattractive. Oh, that was just, this. that room was just a struggle. It was a beautiful room, and I really wanted to design it, but man, it was tough. Well, good to, for everybody who got a five on that room. A birthday feast. Mm. Literally just wanted to dump these chairs that were in my inventory. And the bench. Where when else? When else am I gonna use these? What do the winning rooms look like? Mm. Everybody likes this rug except me. I hate it. It's like early two thousands dorm room. I don't know how we did okay with black and white in a room where the color cue clearly is, is blue. Okay, I just don't understand anything anymore. But when do you get that art? I want that art. When do I get that? Is this a really old? Does anybody know where this comes from? Why did it get replaced? Why can I no longer buy it? Wow. Just checking if there's a clue as to the level this player is. 
because if it's a very high level player, this could be very old limited edition art. But at the end of the day, we don't know. Congrats to this person for finding somewhere to use this fucking ugly art. Good job. This is the least ugly room of those fives. Very good job. Hate that art. Doesn't matter. Good job. Okay, last one. Lively in Athens. Yay! Three fives. Don't remember this room. Useful. So useful. Also, it's the vermouth dresser. Love some vermouth. Okay. Tap to continue. Mmm. I just embraced my inner beige. Use my last two chairs here. I have no regrets about this room. I really actually really like it. I would live in it. I like either crazy pattern mixing or soothing neutrals. Very bland neutrals, very crazy patterns. Not a big fan of anything in between. Uh, so I actually really am happy about this five because I really, really like this room. Ooh, wow, do not like that. I mean, it's a good job. It's very, very, very good job. Well deserved. Also well deserved. I mean, it's a bundle dump, but it's a good dump. I don't think there's anything too exciting going on down here. I love that. What an amazing use of that rug. And those chairs are perfect. This whole thing is really nice. Okay, well, that is a cheerful note on which to end this episode of Game of Rugs. If you enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see future episodes of Game of Rugs, please become a subscriber. We'd love to have you. Bye now.